Hello guys and welcome. In this video, we are going to look at how to determine the area of a parallelogram if we are not given the perpendicular height. We know that the area of a parallelogram is given by the length of the parallelogram, that is the base times its perpendicular height. Let's consider this parallelogram with a base of 13 centimeters. This is 5 centimeters. Now, to find the area of a parallelogram, we need to consider the length of the base times its perpendicular height. For this parallelogram, we only know the base 13 centimeters. We are not given the perpendicular height. So we need to find out what is the perpendicular height. We need to calculate the perpendicular height before we can find the area of this parallelogram. Now, we have 90 degrees here. That means this triangle is a right triangle or a right angled triangle. We are given that this length is 3 centimeters. And we know this hypotenuse to be 5 centimeters. That means we can use the Pythagoras theorem to find the height. Let's call it h. The Pythagoras theorem tells us that the hypotenuse squared should be equal to 3 centimeters squared plus height squared. Now, 5 centimeters squared is 25 square centimeters. This should give us 3 centimeters times 3 centimeters, that is 9 square centimeters. Plus, we are still looking for the height squared. Let's subtract 9 centimeters squared from both sides. So we have 25 minus 9, that is 16 square centimeters. This should be equal to h squared on the right hand side. We can switch these two. H squared we have is equal to 16 square centimeters. So to find H, we can consider the square root of both sides of this equation. Square root of H squared is H. This should be equal to the square root of 16 square centimeters is equal to plus or minus four centimeters. Now, because we are dealing with length, let it be four centimeters only. That means H is equal to four centimeters. Now we can find the area of the parallelogram. We know that the area of a parallelogram is equal to the length of the base times its perpendicular height. The length of this parallelogram is 13 centimeters. We want to multiply this by 4 centimeters. That will give us 52 centimeters squared or 52 square centimeters. So the area of this parallelogram is 52 square centimeters. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the notification button for more videos.